In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks and walk you through how to use the Google Keyword Planner for efficient and effective keyword discovery. Let's get started. Keyword Planner is your fish finder. It's going to tell you where the fish are and give you some information about the fish in that pond. And of course, Google has most of the information. So we want to use Google to know where the fish are. All right, let's take task number one. There's three tasks that you can do with the tool uh, that are really important. The first task is to brainstorm keyword ideas, essentially find the fish, identify the fish that are out there. All right, let's go over to the keyword planner. Now you're gonna need an AdWords account to do this, of course, so sign up for AdWords and then go to Tools, Keyword Planner, and we'll let that load. All right, now you're in this kind of funky initial screen. It's not particularly useful, so I'm gonna type in just an easy pair of words, knee pain, and I'm gonna notice here it says United States. You want it set to a country uh, in average last 12 months, that's it. And then I'm gonna hit get ideas. So you put your keyword in up here, get ideas, just to get started. All right, now at this point, you're in the workhorse of the tool. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So you're in the workhorse of the tool. You've put your keyword in here. On the left, you, you, you use a country. You're better off using a big area. So use United States, United Kingdom, Canada. Don't, don't go small. Even Canada is probably a little on the small side, to be honest. Uh, it, do, it doesn't work very well at low volume. So USA is really the best way if you're an English speaker. So you're gonna put your keyword in here. And then this left column is what I call the idea column. Okay, a little keyword theory, of course, you're gonna know that sciatica is sort of what we call an exploratory or educational search. And then when somebody's putting in total knee replacement or knee replacement surgery, they're getting closer to the transaction, closer to hiring uh, your boss for a surgery. So you wanna start looking in this left column and I'd recommend opening up a little um, notepad, right? So open up a little notepad, let me get a notepad here. So I would open up a little notepad and I would just start typing in the keywords that I'm sort of seeing. So I type in knee pain and then I'm going to put in sciatica and then I would sort of cue these up to have a conversation with her about her business. Knee replacement, that's a really good one. You can see that's going to be a great keyword. Knee replacement, knee replacement surgery, etc. So we'll just come back to that. So you're typing in just brainstorming keywords. That's this left column. You can also click on add group ideas. And then again, it'll, it'll give you some information and you can drill into them. So you can say, oh, knee replacement, that's a good one. I'm gonna click into knee replacement, right? So click into knee replacement. And then you get more um, information. You know, unicompartmental knee replacement. That might be a really good micro one. Knee replacement operation. Notice how that's getting more transactional. Knee replacement costs. So this is a great way to get your helpers. So knee surgery, knee replacement, knee pain. And then you're, you're using this tool to brainstorm ideas. Here's your knee surgery. Oh, look at that. Knee surgery. And then here's your arthroscopic, right? total knee, right? You've got a lot of really great helpers. Orthopedic, right? And then you realize, oh, orthopedic is a good keyword. Now let's go up here and let's change over to orthopedic surgeon. And I'm going to hit enter. All right, so you've, you've hit a synonym there. You've gone from knee pain, knee surgery, and now you've got orthopedic surgery. So you're using this left column and you're brainstorming. Okay, and then over here on your Word document or your notepad, you're putting orthopedic surgeon, and then I, you'll, uh, you see immediately orthopedic doctor. So you're really getting your synonyms, surgery, surgeon, doctor. And notice here, orthopedic doctors, drill into orthopedic doctors, orthopedic doctors, pediatric. So you can see there's a lot of opportunity in this left column. So your first task, your first task is the left column is to identify the keywords, the brainstorm of fish where the fish are. And you're looking for two types of patterns. Core keywords, knee surgery, knee pain, knee replacement, orthopedic surgeon. Those are those foundational phrases. And you're, you've got to brainstorm, you've got to hit them, you've got to find them. And then you're looking for your helpers. 
best arthroscopic arthritis total um, Bay Area, San Francisco. You're starting to get your helpers. Okay. And then as you're finding something, say orthopedic surgeon, you're brainstorming back in there. All right. Now let me show you another trick here. You can use multiply keyword list to get new ideas. Okay. Let's go back into the planner at the top here, hit modify search. And then, and then get rid of that, and then scroll down a little bit here. Some of these are not very useful. Get That's not very useful. Let's go down to this one, multiply keyword lists. So again, you're going to go modify search, and then you're going to scroll down to multiply keyword lists. And here you'd put in knee, hip, orthopedic, for instance. And then over here you'd put in surgeon, doctor, specialist. Right, so this left-hand side is sort of a uh, kind of like adjectives, as it were, and this were is the person who's doing it. Right, and you can see how you get knee surgeon, knee doctor, knee specialist. Okay, so we're going to hit get search volume. Don't hit get forecast; it's useless. Hit get search volume, and this little nifty trick is going to populate this with. Let's go at the top. It's going to populate it with your lists, and you're going to see down here, click on keyword ideas, let it, let it load there, and you're going to see how it's populated, orthopedic surgeon, orthopedic doctor. So it's a it's kind of a little trick just to help you get your, your surgeon, doctor, and we're going to talk in a second about what these two columns are. So that's a good trick to multiply your keywords and get all the different variations out there. All right, so task one is to use the left column to brainstorm keyword ideas. That's the first task. And you're trying to get those all on paper. And I recommend that you have a little notepad or something and you're getting all those patterns, knee pain, knee surgeon, knee surgery, knee doctor, orthopedic surgeon, orthopedic doctor, and you're getting your helpers, arthroscopic, San Francisco Bay Area. You get those all out on paper. That's what you're trying to do there. Okay, now let's go to task two. And again, this analogy of a fish finder is really helpful to people. So we've identified the fish in the pond, right? The different types. Knee pain is a fish in the pond. Knee surgeon is a fish in the pond. Orthoscopic surgeon is an, a fish in the, in the pond, et cetera. And some of the varieties, right? Orthoscopic uh, knee surgeon is a very specific type of fish, as it were. Now we want to know kind of the volume, like how many fish are in the pond, because we want to fish where the fish are. We want to look for the fishing holes. We want to get those high volume keywords. We don't want to we don't want to optimize on, on a keyword that no one uses, right? We want to fish where the fish are. Fish where the fish are. Uh, a little bit about keyword theory. We're moving from the educational knee pain to the transactional knee surgery. Okay, so now we want to look at the volume. So let's look at volumes. Let's go back to the keyword planner. If you want to reset the tool, you just hit modify search. Sometimes I just kind of give up on the interface. It's pretty difficult. So just go tools, keyword planner to just reset it. And then it might say like you have a, a remembered search or something stupid like that and just, you know, nullify it, right? If, if it doesn't reset. Now let's type in knee pain. We're just going to kind of reset the tool and we're going to hit get ideas because it, it is not the best user interface, right? If anyone from Google is listening, I mean, come on, this is really very difficult tool to use. They really need work when they, when they create their self-driving cars, you know, one of my standing jokes is I'm never, ever going to set foot in one of their cars there. You, you'll be pushing buttons and crashing. Okay. So knee pain, now, let's just sort of think from the from the search pattern. So knee pain, knee surgery, knee surgeon, best knee surgeons. So as you're working with your keywords, and I teach this in my books, right, you need some theory. So knee pain, educational, my knee hurts, best knee surgeons, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to get the operation transactional. So I'm going to put those in there, separated by commas, and I'm going to hit get ideas. Okay, now here, so now we're going to talk about the middle columns here, the volume column. Okay, so knee pain, 
110,000 searches per month in the United States, average search in the last 12 months. Now, this is the exact phrase knee pain. If someone puts in what causes knee pain, that doesn't count. So just a little heads up, this is sort of a heuristic. There's actually more volume. Most of us would think of this as a phrase match, like how many times people say knee pain, what is knee pain, causes of knee pain, you know, why, why, why is there knee pain, you know, God, this kind of thing. But it's not what that means. This is knee pain, the exact search. If you want to, if you want to know what the phrases are, open up a new incognito window, go to Google, type in knee pain, pay attention to your suggestions, knee pain running, knee pain when bending, bending, knee pain ICD. Do that search, go to the bottom, look at your related searches, and then you'd have to pop those back in the tool. So you'd have to pop those back to look at those relative volumes. You have to take these out uh, up and in there. So this tool does not give you phrase match, it gives you exact max. Now, okay, so that's our volume. All right, now, Let's just take knee pain and let's just work with knee pain again. And let's get rid of these just for a second and let's hit get ideas. Okay, and then notice when you hit get ideas and you, you get a lot of like sciatica and you don't, let's say you don't want that and you wanna kinda of get a better focus. Over here on the left, click on keyword options, only show ideas closely related to my term. So on the left, Click on Keyword Options and turn this from Off to On. The reason for this is it's going to tighten up the tool. So I'm going to turn On, Only Show Ideas Closely Related to My Search Terms. Okay, so now I can sort and I can see really close terms related to knee pain. This is where you start to see your phrases. So pain behind knee has 14,000 searches, right? So in that total 110,000, right, or related to it, these are extra terms. Knee pain relief, 6,600. Knee pain diagnosis, knee pain when bending, pain in knee. So that's a good way to take a phrase, right? You can take knee surgeon, get ideas, okay? And you're able to see the same thing. Now, notice here, best orthopedic specialist. Now, there's not a lot of volume here, is there? Now, again, that means how many people typed in just best knee replacement surgeon? Only 170. But the caveat is, what are most people going to type in? Best knee replacement surgeon, New York City. Best knee replacement surgeon, San Francisco. And the tool is kind of stupid. It doesn't count those in that, in that total. So again, use it kind of as a heuristic, relatively speaking. Okay, now let's go back here to volume. So we're gonna we're gonna look for those volumes. Let's say you're having an argument with your doctor. Do more people search for knee surgeon or knee specialist, or perhaps orthopedic surgeon? Get ideas. And you can answer that question and you can say, wow, there actually are a lot of searches for orthopedic surgeon. It's a broader category, right? That's hips, shoulders, um, everything relating, I think, to the skeleton, right? So it's not necessarily as good. It's not as focused, but there is a lot of volume there. Knee specialist actually outperforms knee surgeon. Pretty interesting. So you can see that knee specialist is a really good term because it's pretty focused based on what she does. Uh, and it's a little bit better than surgeon, although kind of counterintuitive. I would have maybe guessed surgeon would be more common. That's your volume. So that middle column is your volume column. Volume column. Column. Okay. Now, let's go to task number three, which is yummy fish. Okay. So again, think this analogy, right? You're, you're, you're fishing, you're fishing in the ocean, right? And there's different kinds of fish, right? There's tilapia, there's salmon, there's carp, there's bass, there's um, you know, catfish, right? There's all different types of fish. Uh, if you go to a fish market, you're going to see that the price per pound of tilapia is only, you know, two, three bucks a, a pound, right? The price of salmon is, you know, six dollars a pound or twenty dollars a pound. The price of organic salmon caught yesterday by Eskimos and flown into San Francisco via FedEx is twenty-eight dollars a pound, right? So there's a relationship to uh, of the price per pound 
roughly speaking, tells you which fish are yummy. We've all done this when we buy a, a bottle of wine. Uh, economists call this the price illusion, right? So that $50 bottle of wine must be better than the $5 bottle of wine, right? That's called the price illusion in economics. So now let's look at the, the, the um, value. So let's type in knee pain, comma, knee surgery, comma, knee surgeon. Think of this as the customer discovery journey. Best knee surgeons get ideas. And again, I have this tight over here on the left. I've got keyword options turned on just to make it a little bit easier to use at this point. All right, now let's talk about value. Okay, so best knee surgeons, the value, think of it as the price per pound of the fish, $7. Knee pain, $3.71. Now there's a lot more volume on knee pain, but there's more value on knee surgeons. Okay, and where does that value come from, right? That means if somebody goes to Google and they type in knee pain and they click on one of these ads, right, that costs that advertiser roughly $3.71. If I type in best knee surgeons in Dallas, and I click on that, that's costing that advertiser seven bucks. So what's happening is the, the advertisers are in, a, in an auction and they're bidding up the value of those words that are transactional, close to the purchase, and that have a lot of money behind them. Knee pain might just end up in a purchase of an aspirin or a Tylenol or an ibuprofen, right? A dollar. Knee surgeon ends up in a fifty to hundred thousand dollar operation. Lots of money. So the advertisers bid up the valuable keywords. So you, as a as a keyword researcher, you can use this tool to look at the relative value of words. And you can realize in terms of your optimization, you're much better optimizing on knee surgeons than knee pain, right? So knee specialists, knee surgeons, right? So you can really get in and, and get down and dirty with those values. So then you can take knee doctor, knee specialist, knee surgeon, and same thing. Look at your values as well as your volumes. So knee doctor, 688, knee specialist, 631, knee surgeon, 466, interestingly enough. So the tool is really telling us the money and the volume is a knee doctor, knee specialist. Knee surgeon is not that great. Kind of interesting, right? So this column gives you your values, gives you your values. All right, let's go back to our little materials here. So let's kind of wrap up. Let's sort of always sort of where are we going? What are we doing? So your, your, your first step zero is sort of brainstorm with your client or yourself, me, myself, and I, your team. What do we do? We are knee surgeons. What do we produce? Knee surgery. What are synonyms? Knee specialist, knee surgeon, orthopedic, hips, this kind of thing. What are we doing? Task number one is then you're going to use that left column to brainstorm keyword ideas. Get all the keywords on paper. Step number two is you're going to start to look at volumes. Where is the volume, right? Where is the where is the search volume? Where are people searching? What fish are in that sea, right? Where are there a lot of fish? Step step three, which is the far right column, you're going to look for the values. Now, if you turn on the tool, this little heads up, and you can't find it, uh, click on columns. Oftentimes, it doesn't turn on. It is a very cumbersome user interface, right? It's, it's just frustrating that the user interface can be this clunky. Just um, put up with it. it. It is what it is. So that's where oftentimes it's hidden. And you've got two, you've got ad group ideas and you've got keyword ideas and you can play around with both of those. You can look in your ad group ideas as well and you can see uh, some idea of the volumes here and the values. So you've got your ideas, volumes, values, and then you can drill into an ad group suggestion, and again, you can see um, some ideas. D don't take it overly seriously, but it's, it is a, a good 
uh, way to get to this data. It's not a perfect set of data. All right, so I've got some examples there that I explained. Now, there are some useless things in this tool, too. Uh, you know, get search volume and trends, pretty much useless. Plan your budget, pretty much useless. Put your web page in and have Google spider it for keyword ideas, pretty much useless. I, I have no idea why they're there. Uh, those tools, again, are at the beginning of the tool. Let me go back here. Uh, modify search. So you have this, this aspect, which is very easy and good. Landing page is useless. Product category is useless. Don't even bother. Uh, let's go back, modify search. You have get search volume. It doesn't, doesn't work. Useless. Multiply um, keywords is, pretty, is, is sort of useful. Plan your budget is useless. So a lot of that first part is, is pretty useless. I would say the most useful thing that people miss is over here on the left. Keyword options only show uh, only show um, keywords related to my uh, search terms. That turning off and on. Uh, turn it off when you're looking, exploring, getting ideas. Turn it on when you're narrowing and you're zooming in uh, to your own specific list for uh, values and volumes. Uh, extra credit, Bing has its own keyword planner. I've got that up here on the screen as well. It's very simple, similar. Put in knee pain. You can see uh, Bing kind of uh, shamelessly or slavishly uh, imitates Google in its interface. It's, it's kind of sad. Does pretty much the same thing. So you really, you can look at the Bing tool. It's, it's very similar to the Google tool. The volumes are different, of course, because Bing's volumes are a lot um, less than Google's. Uh, I think that it might give you a little bit more phrase data than Google does. So it's worth checking out Bing uh, as you do this. All right, so wrapping up, we're going to sign up for AdWords. We're going to go into the Keyword Planner. We're going to use it for those three uses, column one, ideas, column two, volume, column three, value. And looking forward, we're going to take this information and put that into our Keyword Worksheet. Uh, which is, of course, the subject of another video. Thank you for watching. Questions in the questions uh, uh, comments there on YouTube or shoot me an email.